quickest way to bathroom is going to be through that door and to the left at the end of the hallway. That is where bathrooms are, just in case we have any potty emergencies. So let's go ahead and get started with our actual hello song. Can you touch your nose? Right, are you ready? Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. All right, this one's trickier. Can you touch your toes? Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Well, hello everybody. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Well, hello everybody. Can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet. Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head, pat your head. Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Great job! All right, we are going to do a bread and butter hello. Can you clap along with me? We go pat. Mr. Sun. 
sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Peek-a-boo! These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Great job! Give yourself a hand! Yay! little bit. 
On some days, when the wind was just right, Mabel would lie under her tree, and its leaves would dance just for her. But one day, Mabel noticed that her tree was bare, and she was worried that her tree might get cold. So she took off her jacket and put it around her tree so that it could stay warm. Do trees need jackets? Like people need jackets? <laughs> no, that's a little silly, but it's very nice of her to think about her tree. Sometimes Maple wished that she had someone else to play with because the tree wasn't very good at throwing snowballs. And she wondered if the tree felt the same way. So Maple introduced her tree to a friend, but the sun came out and the friendship didn't last. The snowman went away and melted, but Maple and her tree still had each other. Through winter and spring, and then one day something surprising happened. Do you see what's such a surprise? Can you see on the page? What is it? Do you know? Some sort of plant has sprouted up. I wonder what it is. And then something really surprising happened. Oh, looks like there's going to be another baby. Mabel became a big sister. And she tried to be a good big sister. If the baby was cold, Maple gave the baby her hat and gloves. If the baby was lonely, Maple would share her special friends. But Maple couldn't always make the baby happy. That happens sometimes. Babies are hard to make happy. And when the baby was noisy, which was a lot, Maple would take her outside to play. And then, Something magical happened. Mabel's tree danced for them both. Look what's in the leaves. Do you see the robin's nest with those blue eggs inside? That's pretty special to see. There was just enough room under the tree for Mabel and her little sister, Willow. The end. Give yourselves a hand. You guys are great listeners. Before we do another book, let's go ahead and stand up and stretch. I always like to stretch after my books. Are you ready? Stand up. Stretch the sky. Show me something big. Show me something small. Turn in a circle. Try not Clap your hands, stomp your feet, wiggle out your arms, and take a seat. Our second book is called Picture a Tree by Barbara Reed. There's one more than one way to picture a tree. A tree can be like a drawing on the sky. Look, in winter, the branches look like lines someone drew on the white sky. It can be like a game of dress up. The first drops of color and then all the art supplies at once as the trees get green. Or have flowers. Have you seen flowering trees this week? I have seen a lot of flowers on trees. A tree can be like a tunnel or an ocean. A tree can be a high rise home sweet home. A pirate ship. A bear cave. You growl like a bear. A clubhouse, a friend. Some trees are sun umbrellas on the hot walk home. There are baby trees in between. Ro 
grown-ups and grandfathers, just like people, all different ages of trees. You may see the end of one thing or the start of something new. A wild goodbye party. Oh my goodness, look at all those colors in the fall. There's red and orange and yellow. A glow in the darkness. Or even they might look like skeletons. Some trees put on snow suits. Those are snowy trees. Every winter tree holds spring, sleeping like a baby. Picture a tree. What do you see? The edge. All right, friends, give yourselves a round of applause. You're a great listener. I couldn't hear you at all.
goodbye as nicely as we can. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us for toddler time today. I'm so glad you were here with me. Amber's going to go ahead and pass out some crafts for you to take home. I will come around with stickers as well. And I hope to see you again next week, 1030, here in the garden, assuming it's not raining or snowing. If it is, if it's raining or snowing, I do not do toddler time in person and I will be on Facebook.